Hello Taurus, welcome to Crystal Tarot 1111 and your love story reading. My name is Erica. Today we're going to be looking at your love story with you and whoever you're watching this video for. <clears throat> and this is not date specific. It's either going to resonate or it's not. It's general reading, obviously. It won't resonate for everybody. It can resonate in the reverse or not at all. And if it doesn't resonate at all, do check out your other placements as well, along with the monthly reading um, for the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, if you haven't yet done so, to get additional messages. So let's take a look at what's going on for you in your love story. And your love story meaning your love life, because doesn't sometimes, sometimes these love stories come to an end. Um, so let's see what's going on for you, Taurus. So we have the Four of Wands and we have the Lovers. Wow. And we have the Emperor and we have the Five of Cups. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Judgment card. We have the Hanged Man, followed by the Devil, followed by the Three of Wands followed by the Chariot and the Temperance card. Okay. Let me tune into this. This is your person. This is you. At least that's how I'm going to read it. Um, certainly it can go vice versa. And even the messages can kind of weave together sometimes um, with these general readings with many of you watching. So it looks like here... <clears throat> um, I feel like... I feel like you may have some regrets, Taurus. I feel like you <clears throat> have some sadness about something that's happened in the past. But with all of these major arcana, you've got right here, five out of six major arcana coming in. And your person has the lovers and the devil, which are kind of flip of the same card. It's like the devil in the light is the lovers same, same format but it's like the, the the shadow and the light and so I feel like you have some regrets here of things in the past but you're ready to you're seeing things in a different way right now and you're trying to you've been doing a lot of evaluating and thinking about what you want to do in this situation Taurus and it looks like you very much uh, do want to go forward. I think the person, this person, I think feels a very strong connection with you. They, they, they realize that there is a very incredible soul connection here, but there's been some things that have happened in the past Taurus where you have some regrets about it. And I feel like they're a little bit uncertain of where you stand on things. I think they're wanting things, they're wanting communication, they're wanting things to move forward, but I think they're kind of in a waiting place to see what you're going to do. And in the meantime, I feel like there's, they're struggling with some of their, their, um, their doubts, their fears. I feel like they may feel like this is an illusion to some degree. Um, or that there's something that, I think they're wanting, they're, I think they want what you want. I think there's a lot of love here, but I think they're not sure if there's going to be success here. And I think you're going to need to be patient with them. I think you're going to need to be patient with them because I feel like whatever happened before in your dynamic, it's going to, they're going to be reminded in their, they're, they're going to be reminded of it in themselves of like, is it going to happen again? Is the same thing going to happen again? So let's actually get some more cards to add to the story. Why do you have the five of cups? What are you regretting? Well, you have the seven of pentacles with this five of cups. I 
I feel like you might have been kind of waiting for the right time. Why is the emperor here? The wheel of fortune. See, waiting for the right time, writing, waiting for your luck to change, waiting for the, the opportune moment to bring this forward. Because you've been undergoing a big transformation, Taurus. And why do you have the hanged man here? The world. See, you've, you've completed this incredible transformation within yourself. And I feel like you're also seeing how whatever happened before, you want to put an... You want to put an end to that because you're seeing here how whatever happened before may have ended a cycle that you're now seeing more things about and you've been really evaluating your life Taurus and you've been looking and thinking and you know is this how I want to live my life and I feel like for your person here with this five of pentacles there could be this uncertainty around the transition yeah, so there are five. I was just saying transition before I even pulled this. Uncertain about the transition. Fives represent transition. They represent change. So I feel like your person might be a little unsure of the new you. I don't know. There's a little skepticism here. And I think this is where... I, feel like, I do feel like you're going to have to be patient with them. In fact, let's get a card on why they have the devil here. Yep, they are they don't know which, which you they're going to get. Is this new one the real one or is this, am I going to get the old one that did what they did that they have regrets about? But I feel like they're, they're trying to look forward and be hopeful. Yeah, Three of Cups. It's like they want to enjoy this. They want to... Um, I think they want to be happy about this change, but they're just not trusting it. Why do you have the Chariot? Yeah, Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? The Eight of Wands. Yeah, I think that you are in this energy of really wanting to talk about the past heartbreak. And you're wanting to tell them you're wanting to have success. I feel like you want to go quickly, but you're going to be patient for things to shift. Because there is this apology here coming in. heartfelt communication and I think you know that it's going to take some time for this person to open up to you Taurus so let's in fact let's get another card here I want to get another card on this two of pentacles the queen of swords yeah they don't want they don't want the illusion they don't want the drama they're ready to cut this out if you don't if you don't show your heart. Queen of Swords gets the the Eight of Pentacles. They're kind of trying to figure out if they want to put the effort in here. And that's the Hierophant. Is this worth the effort? Is it not? I'd like to be hopeful, but we'll see. So let's get your guidance. What is the best guidance for Taurus with this situation? What is the best guidance for Taurus? Oh, six of cups. So sweet. The death card. Show this person when you return to them that you have transformed, that you want to heal this that you have been thinking and thinking a lot about them and that you love them very much. That you want things to get back 
to this energy of unconditional love. So the guidance is to show them, demonstrate this. This little boy is giving this little girl this cup. He's showing her his love and she's looking at him like, really? And the justice card, make it right. Make the situation right, Taurus. Communicate, communicate what you've learned, communicate that you want victory, communicate that you want peace. Show them that you have resurrected and transformed. Not an accident, there's a butterfly here. I was just saying transformation, right? You've gone through a metamorphosis. You've got a lot of butterflies on your side here. And I don't see any butterflies over here. The butterfly is here in the hanged man here with the Page of Swords. So you've undergone a metamorphosis and this is where they're gonna need to see it, I think. I think they're gonna need to see, they're kind of gonna, yep, they're gonna, I think they're gonna be looking at taking this risk with you, but I think this is up to you to open up, communicate, and let them know exactly what you wanna say, what you're communicating. And with this Nine of Pentacles, along with the Four of... You know that your success is going to require you to open up and to let go of the past. You really want to let go of the past. You don't want to hold on to the past. And you do want to open up your heart to them, Taurus. So you need to show them this. All right, lovely friends. I hope that was helpful. Do check out the other videos along with the monthly Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine readings as well for additional messages. So until next time, I send you much love. Bye.